are you? Hmm. Are there any, is there any talk that you guys know? Whoa, oh, 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 my God. Is there any talk that you guys know that this will eventually come out to PC or we just don't know? Possibly like way in the future type thing. You're gonna guess a future ability for that orange ball, probably, and the ability to extend these orange bridges, too. Okay. I can't get these chunks because I don't have the Xenotech required. Now, what's a blue arch versus... Okay, so this is a light blue doorway. And over here, we have a different type of door on the mini-map. Look over here. What's this blue? What does blue mean versus the other? Do you guys know? This looks like a treasure type room. room oh random a damaged xenotech device fabricates a random item in exchange for an increasing amount of obelites 75 do i lose all the obelites when i die Oh, they do carry over. All right, let's just get one anyway. Here we go. And stop! No whammies! No whammies! <gasps> I got a ball. Interference spear disables all turrets within the area. All right. I could do it again for 125. I guess we'll hold on to that for now. Yeah. It said you only keep permanent things. Well, you do. You doing. You keep things like uh, the upgrade that I got. Right? Didn't I get like armor piercing? Wasn't that like permanent? Yeah, we'll figure it out. We're we're still learning. We're still at the very beginning of this experience. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. But it says you don't keep weapons. I want to not keep the weapon, but if I grab this kind of weapon again, it will be upgraded already because of our familiarity with it, right? Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, we're falling. Okay, all right. At least it wasn't right into a boss fight. And we live here now. Oh, look at all this obelite I could have been spending at the vending machine upstairs. Die, 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 die. Wah, wah, wah. I look forward to our one hour of phasmophobia in the asylum, LOL. You do want me to look forward to our chats together, don't you, Shiveria? One hour in the asylum with you? Are you kidding? Thank you for the tip. Yeah. Uh, yep, Justin Martin says, so how is the game? Should I get it? I trust you. I'm glad you trust me already. Um, I just started. I'm only like an hour in. It's incredible so far. I love the whole concept. I'm having a blast. But then again, I'm only an hour in, so I can't really like give it my absolute recommendation or anything yet. So far, so good. What is this? Uh oh. Discovered xenotype technology on the corpse of a sentient. Ooh. Scan is indicating potential for suit augmentation. Put that back! Appears safe to repurpose. 
That does not appear safe to repurpose. System integration complete. Performing a function test to confirm. Per that was permanent. Woohoo! We got ourselves a new honor. Welcome to the swamp. Shiveria just gifted a sub to Yep, Jess Martin. Thank you so much, Shiveria. 152 subs in the channel for Shiveria now. Gifted subs. Thank you. And we're adding time to the stream for that. Yes. Um, What do they have here? Okay, so translocators are devices that allow you to te teleport within a biome. That's how we're going to get back up, I guess. Proximity translocators have a set destina destination, while regular ones allow you to select your destination from all other active translocators. Okay. Got it. Hey, babe, are you right behind me? No. No, she is not. Okay, and then we also have data cubes. Data cubes contain the blueprints for weapons, artifacts, or consumables. You can unlock the item contained within by finding and inserting it into a data cube processor. After this, you get a copy of the item and you can now find it elsewhere in the, in the world. You can only carry one data cube at a time. Carried data cubes are lost upon death. So that's like finding an item. You have to find where it goes and then you unlock it for future runs, I think. Yeah. It is PS5 only, Warren, unfortunately. Yes. Um, Just Martin, if you refresh your stream, you won't get any more ads now that you're a sub. Subs here do not get ads. Hi, Otter Scotch. Hello. It sounds like scrolls and dead cells. You got to get to the certain spot to get the unlock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me just make sure real quick. There's no I oh, oh, my, uh, another one I'm right behind you though but got to grin and bear it grin and bog otter grin and bear it I love it thank you for the bits thanks for scaring the crap out of me doom prophet says has anyone played house marks uh other bullet hell game next machina no I have not Broken Calibrator grants a small amount of weapon proficiency. Okay. Hey! All upcoming weapons improved. Nice. Nice! Oh, I love that, it's that effect. Wow. Good. Confirmed. Point to point teleportation. Location exit seems fixed. Okay. Now we're back up. All right, now we can teleport. Still can't do anything with these. All right, let me take one more roll. One more. No whammies. Oh, it's another consumable. Uh, Anti-energy pulse releases an expanded burst of energy that turns hostile projectiles into opalites. Huh. All right, we'll take that one. Sucks. Sucks I can't have more than one. Still can't do anything with that, to my understanding at least. Is that a bad guy noise? All right, let's see where this teleports us to now. Oh. Oh 
Holy crap. Holy crap. All right. Handled. Uh, what was the other game Bog played last year that was like this? Revenant? Remnant from the Ashes, maybe? I don't know. It's not really the same kind of game, though. Uh, Ether, a permanent source that interacts with other timelines and cleanses malignancy. Really? Interacts with other timelines? Ether is a mysterious resource that is kept on death. Gain ether by interacting with deceased scouts and completing daily challenges in the ship. There was more to that that I didn't get to. They're not going to tell me about it, are they? There's a lot of things. Oh, there's a key. Third-person shooter roguelike. Well, Remnant from the Ashes is probably what you're thinking of, but it's, uh... That's not a roguelike. Yeah. The way that's worded makes you think the, uh... Yeah, the, the oboe lights aren't permanent. Yeah. I'm getting that vibe, too. Alright, so that's where we... Which one did we show up on? This where he came from? Press R3 to scan an area to reveal exits. You scan in combination with your map. Okay, I think they... <laughs> How is that helpful? <laughs> I don't know what that's telling me. Is this where I want to go or not? Would that key be for that loot chest from earlier? Maybe, but I have no idea where that is. Oh, no translate blank locators active. All right, so this is all where we've been before. Yeah, this one's definitely backwards, but I'm wondering, should I put that key somewhere? I don't remember where that was, though. The map should tell you, right? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Container open or locked. Uh, so locked would have a circle in it, I guess. So there's a locked one over here. We're far away. We're very, very far. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about one treasure. Or one box. Enjoy your food, Alaska. This place is cool. Discovered xenotype technology that produces other devices.
increases max integrity by 25% for 325. Okay. They don't want to tell me what these do. Hello? Fabricator. A Xenotech device that fabricates items. Okay. Adrenaline stimulants gain 5% weapon damage per adrenaline level. Okay. Alt fire protection gains 10% protection while alt fire is recharging. Grants a huge amount of weapon proficiency. And this is a large sylphium vial. Repairs a major... That's like a heal. Yeah, it's like a shop. Yeah, you gotta translate it, right? You gotta translate each of these things. Proficiency measures your combat ability per cycle. You get proficiency from each hostile that you dispatch. But there's also items that can grant you proficiency or affect your proficiency rate. Your proficiency level determines the minimum level of weapons you can find in the world. Okay. Yeah, we think we've seen that before. Did you get it or you have to go and pick it up? I don't know. I think I got it. I don't know if I have to use... I don't think I have to use that. It's just auto-magic. Yeah. You're getting major alien vibes from this game. There's one right there. It's very strange when you're uh, streaming and something gets posted in Discord and you look over and it's one of your mods taking a picture of you streaming. It's like, hey, somebody just posted a picture of me. Was I eating? Yeah, and I'm eating too. Thank you, Eva Twilling, for posting a picture of me eating. Who would do that? Seriously, I know, right? Uh, unknown object. <clears throat> That's a tombstone. Xenoglyph, right? Of rudimentary oh. xenotype language discovered. Currently lacking resources to decipher this xenoglyph. Find and collect xenoglyph ciphers to translate. That'll give us some story, right? I'm gonna find out what the heck is going on here. Why are we stuck in a loop? Who are these dead things? Where'd they come from? Hey, there's a cipher! Discovered a fragment of the xenotype language. Give me that. I got one of ten. Analyze. Is this translating correctly? Severed Our brethren. Severed brethren. Maddening agony. Oh, that sounds great. Severed brethren and maddening agony. Okay. Creepy clown marauder. <laughs> Gardner girl, thank you. Thank you so much. If you timed that for the exact second I saw the creepy clown that Marauder posted in mod chat, I would have crapped myself. Yeah. It says you've been here before. I've seen your face before. All right, what is this? This I can't. Oh, I can use this. And I can select the destination. Okay. Just those two, though. We can go zoop right back out if we need to. Thank you, Garner Girl. I'm sorry I didn't get scared for it. Detecting a strange energy reading. 
setting a marker on my map. Okay, we gotta find a way to destroy this barrier. What? <sighs> door scared me. Oh, I got nailed. My adrenaline was reset. It's sticking me to the floor. Oh my god, what? I'm getting whipped! Oh! Watch that first step, it's a doozy. Oh, I didn't even realize one was right there! Come on, Bob, you got this! We are screwed. Suit integrity is terrible. Are there more bad guys? I can't tell. I think we're okay. All right, I need to heal. Not enough. Not enough by a long shot. <laughs> All right. Hey, Strawberry Muddle. What is this? It looks like a survival horror. It is a roguelike or roguelite, depending on how you look at it called Returnal out today on PS5. And we're playing it for the very first time. And it's been a lot of fun so far. Okay, so we're about half health. I still can't get these chunks. And today's a bogathon, by the way. Welcome to the stream. We're going up to 14 hours uh, long today. We've got a whole bunch of stretch goals planned. If the timer gets over that, you can type exclamation point Bogathon and take a look. We also unveiled one new tier one emote today, two new, uh, three new tier two emotes, and two near two new tier. Th and that's so hard to say. We have six new emotes um, of various tiers. We'll just leave it at that. All right, can I get through this? No does not care. PS5 game and a Bhagavan. I know, right? What? Went for posting the new emotes for people. Uh, do you think I could step down there? It doesn't look very friendly. The step down there. Yeah, that's like a no, right?
All right, see what this is. Reclaimer, a Xenotech device for recycling materials. Output unknown. Warning, interaction can damage integrity. Lie down. Oh yeah, I'm good for a nap. Hi, Tamar Leo, what's going on? I regret my choices. Fractal Nail. Oh, there's an artifact. Grants a 10% weapon damage when you have a malfunction. And it's going to take my malfunction away. <laughs> How funny is that? Artifacts are items with beneficial effects. Some have passive effects, while some have activation conditions. You can view them in the equipment tab in the suit computer. All right, artifacts are items that provide beneficial effects. Yep, note that you carry a maximum of 15 artifacts. Artifacts can be destroyed by critical malfunctions or voluntarily in the equipment tab of the suit computer. Okay, so here we go. Here's our first artifact. Right there, fractal nail. Great. Just lie down. This is totally not a coffin. Exactly. Um, you got your second dose of your vaccine tomorrow, Leo. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're, you've got the vaccine, but yeah, you might feel a little bleh for a few games. What do I think of this game? So far, so good. It's great. That's actually good, though, because the malfunction said minus 30%. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, it's definitely an improvement, but it's just funny that our first artifact was that kind. What are these purple things I keep exploding? Like, does that do anything? Or is it just fun? Makes me want grape, grape juice. Grape juice! Grape juice! Should I lay down again? No. Why is that still marked on my map like that? The purple things are sort of like pots in Zelda. Oh, you just break them and maybe something comes out of them. Ah, got it. And how you doing, Southpaw? I used my key, though, to get in here. So some of these will have like those items in it that could give you a malfunction. Oh, look, there we go. We got one. We got a heal from that one. Ooh. Full health, baby. Yeah. Yes. Full health, baby. That's right, I will stomp all the things. I'm the stomp master. I still, want, I still want to be able to do something with that guy. But I don't know what. Excuse me? Wait, my map is all fuzzy. What? But it looks like treasure.
lot of treasures here. Each one of those purple things. Oh, I messed up my reload. All right, this is insane. And I think we found a secret room. All fire cooldown increased by 10 seconds. Ew. Oh, you can use three ether to cleanse this. Oh man, so I don't know if I should be grabbing all these. How many of these would you guys grab? One more? Oh, I collected a resin. All right, and that got rid of the other one. And uh, the malfunctions are removed. Okay. F this is a large one. Suit malfunction. Did I just lose something permanently? malfunction is critical. Okay. Alright, I think I'm done gambling with these things, right? Oh, except this one. Repairs moderate damage to integrity, but is infected. No, we don't need that. Alright, so that's a resin. All right, I think I'm good playing around in there. All right, we found a cool little secret. I just kind of fell into there. Thank you, secret dude. How do I get back out of here, though? I can't go this way. There's nowhere to go. Maybe I only think there's no way to go. Still can't get past these barriers, right? Find a way past the Xeno tech barriers. All right, this is new, right? Tachyomatic Carbine Spit Maw Blaster. So the Spit Maw Blaster is the new one. It says two, and the other one's got zero. So I swap it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. This, thing, this weapon is slow. Is this like a shotgun? What the? What the? What is that thing? Get away from me. I missed. I think this is 
is like my permanent face while playing this game. Like, what is going on? Alright, so this is like a shotgun. Oh, it moves. Wait, it. Wait, it's grabbing onto my arm. I wouldn't use that. Are you crazy? Let's see what this looks like. Wait, it, this one didn't do that. That is cool. Yeah, it's more of a shotgun, though. I have to be closer. Okay. So we have to learn what the different doors mean. I think these, like, blue are, um... Are, like, these indigo-looking arches. Like, that's the door over there. This is, like, a treasure room of some sort. Oh, this is me. It's a dead me. I just shot her with boogers. It says it on the main map. Ah, okay. Main path. Side path. Thank you, Edan. Oh. Encountered a small life form. Yeah, don't touch it and put it on you. Seems docile. Mm -mm. No! Ah! Okay. Parasitically attached to my arm. What'd you expect? Uh, does not appear hostile. <sighs> Somehow. That is hostile. I don't it's care. Strengthening and weakening my suit. That is very hostile. Parasites have both beneficial and detrimental effects to your suit. Press to access your status to learn more about the parasites. Press. To check for more video tutorials. Okay. I didn't want parasites. Parasites are strange fauna that infest Atropos. The, they affect your suit in different ways. While some may uh, alter the way your suit is repaired, others can prevent death entirely. Each parasite has unique buffs. Oh, death defiance, you say. Some parasites automatically detach after their buff is depleted. But most stay on until they are forcibly detached via a device or a consumable. Yeah, it's like a symbiote. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Meet your parasite. Okay. So this one auto repairs. So it's basically gives you more health when you're at low health. But my alt fire cooldown five more seconds. And I've, I already suffer damage while using keys, and I have reduced healing of my suit. You can see why she's like stuck on this planet over and over and over again. She hears a distress signal on a planet. Her superiors say forbidden. She goes anyway. And then she looks at a strange alien creature on the ground, analyzes it for two seconds, and goes, appears docile, and tries to grab it. Now she's got a parasite. Yeah. Okay. She makes bad choices. Let's just be honest. What a scary sounding teleporter. Okay. Oh no. That statue is covering its face. Maybe there's another way to go. Like any other way. Any other way is fine. Wow, this is far. We've come a long way. All right, fine. We'll bravely go toward the noise. Ah! That's not bravely. That was not bravely. Holy crap. That would have been 
so much cooler if I landed on him while shooting. Ooh, a purple thing. Those things suck. That is terrible. I hate those things. All right. Uh, large resin. Fill two slots towards max integrity. Ooh, nice. Guys, should I do the spitball blaster or the spitball blaster? Actually, they're, they are different. Um... Last shell is the alt fire versus shock stream. On the bottom of them, you can see I'm 67% of the way of being proficient enough in this one to unlock narrow maw. Whereas this one, I'd have to start over on slug shot. I'd like Rick Swalton answered that with yes. I don't know which one to pick. I have no idea. I want to see what shock stream is like. What does shock stream look like? I dig it. Caustic sage shoe. Oh, it's a new parasite. Increase proficiency rate by 20%. That's your leveling up your weapons. But hostiles leave behind a pool of acid upon death. Oh, hey, Fred. Like, whoa, it's an 11 month resub. Zoinks! Revenge nuggets! You're gonna hit one year of subbing next month. Thank you so much. How you doing? Oh, I have two of them now. <laughs> for some reason, I thought... <laughs> for some reason, I thought they would replace them. Alright, so now we have pools of acid and all fire cooldown. What does L1 do? It uses consumables. Johan, some crazy dude has given you a tier two sub nuts. It's not a crazy dude. It's a crazy dudette. Nair Bear did that. Yeah. Congratulations, though. You, we have brand new tier two emotes. Take a look at them. We got, we got three new tier two emotes. Yeah, the L1 is my consumable, which I actually forget which consumable I have. Honestly. Uh, releases an expanding burst of energy that turns hostile projectiles into... Okay, so if I'm getting a lot of projectiles at me, I can... Bloop, and turn them into obelites. Baron Vagabond says, uh, this is a PS5 exclusive or timed exclusive? I think it's a PS5 exclusive at this point. It's, uh, published by Sony. still can't get through these right now. But we've got Horizon Zero Dawn, Days Gone, coming to PC, right? So there's hope. 
there's hope. Oh, what's that red door mean? Probably that I can't go through it. Or no, I can't. I can. Oh, I don't want to go there, do I? Hold on. Yeah, that could be a boss. Let's go over here. Yeah, let's try that way first. Yeah, HDD's already on PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Days Gone's coming next month. Red means stop. Thank you, IG10D. Oh, no. Okay. This gigantic room? Or the red room? The quest is pointing me this way. Areas in lockdown. And I got a shotgun. I like gold. This is hard. Okay. All right. That's better. That should be better. Sweet. I was not expecting to live. Oh, okay. That's just acid. It's not purple goodness. It's not grape juice, Bog. Okay. I think I like this better than the shotguns. No Triforce for Bog. We'll go back. Shield Vial. Creates a shield against the next hit. Okay. What other goodies? There's some heals over here, it looks like. That was reduced 30% due to my malfunction. Thank you. Thank you, malfunction. Malfunction junction. You like the punch and the weapon sound? So a lot of people have been telling me that this game is being uh, applauded for its sound design. And so far, I really agree. Like, it's ridiculous. All right, and this is the way we came from. Is there anything else? It's like so many like little nooks and crannies where they can hide stuff. Like this. Ooh, ether. Permanent resource. Where's my ether? Oh, is it over here? Two? Is that what it is? You heard there's feedback from the raindrops too in the controller. I'm not feeling anything from the controller right now with this rain, but maybe at certain points. All 
Alright, should I go back? Well, let's go, let's go forward to the plot. The, the plot is pointing us this way. Is that a house? Are you kidding me right now? What is this game? Hey, Sango. What's going on? Sango, today you don't have to worry about me stopping early, okay? Sango always gets upset when I leave. Hi, Heliquin. That's... That can't be here. That's your house, isn't it? I don't know. If I have these two aliens... Parasites sticking in my arms and I've just been fighting all that stuff. I'd be like, I know this isn't my house. I know it can't be on this planet. I know it's not real, but I'm going in there and taking a nap. I'm probably going to check the freezer for a frozen pizza, too. Oh, that house is alluded to in the trailers? Oh, I, I, I've never seen any trailers besides the opening like announcement for this game way back when. Scouts log. All right. For anybody just tuning in, we keep, every time we die, we keep waking up, crash landing onto this planet over and over and over again. And we keep finding audio logs that we ourselves created. We even find our own dead bodies sometimes too. So it's pretty crazy. That's right, Strange Shay. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but... Not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. There's no comfort here. Aww. No safe space. No nap? And the astronaut keeps following me. The astronaut's me. Again. Do yourself. All right, we can teleport there. It's funny how you have to translate. Somebody told me like these purple things are like breaking barrels or in other games or boxes in other games. And now it makes sense. At first I'm like, what are these things? I don't understand. got to basically translate things from a fantasy setting for me. <laughs> All right, shall we check out this creepy house? Yeah, Marauder, five, uh, five tier two subs earlier, yeah. It was during the train. Think. Yeah, I don't know. Uh house. A 20th century house, and it's locked. Oh. Well, that sucks. What about the swing? Well, man, so you like that there's in-game lore explanation for fast travel. Suppose it's pretty easy when there's a sci-fi alien problem planet, but still. Yeah, I. you know what? In a lot of roguelike games, you just die over and over and over again, and it's not really woven into the story at all. You have no idea. You just play again, you know? You keep doing another run. This game they, they explains the dying and coming back, you know, just kind of like Hades did, which I love. All right, there was a huge thing sitting right over here, too. Consumable. Oh god, that was fast. Hey, consumable of war off. Holy crap. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I gotta get out of there. Oh, I gotta get out of there. Okay. They're all over the place. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. The face is death is near, and so I flail. Yeah, how do you like? 
like that. You stunned? You like being stunned? Okay, there's more. There's more, but the big one's dead. There's another one coming from this side. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There it is. Okay. Over here. Tracker Swarm versus Shock Stream. Interesting that those are both 47% unlocked. Uh, overheat limit to projectile speed. Oh, this is a level four. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. That's way worth. Way worth. I thought I was gonna die in that fight for sure. Oh, nice. Those, that's a permanent resource, the ether. Not sure I 100% understand it, but... We need four ether to cleanse this. And... We need Xenotech to get it all together. Look at these ruins. There's gotta be a way to extend bridges, too. Eventually. I can just use this friend, though. There we go. Alright, where was that teleporter? I feel like I should go back. I want to try to get that, uh... Come on, Box, spit the words out. That red door. You know that room that I thought was the boss room? This is a side room, so let's try this. Maybe we can get some healing. I could cleanse this. All right, I spent two ether on that. resistant to melee damage, so I thought it was worth a shot. <laughs> oh, God. These things are absolutely frightening. Alright, which is the way home? Or which is the way back? Or here's the teleporters through there. Okay. So this way. Worth a shot, right, Sup? Get it? How you doing, Sup? Happy Friday. Okay. Um. That does not look healthy. You know what? I would do it to avoid flying. You might find some mild discomfort. Not a fan of flying. I don't mind the uh, actual, like, 
traveling by air. It's not like uh, some people just like have a fear of flying. I find uh, just the whole like traveling in a un very uncomfortably uncomfortable stuff to the brim place for that long. I find it very uncomfortable to be on an airplane. I really hate it. All right, I'm going the wrong way. How do I get to... There it is. Did I get screwed up again? Yes, I keep going the wrong way. Can I not go the other way? You love going places, but I hate traveling. Exactly. Yeah. Basically, if Bog could fly in those fancy ants, international first class style seats all the time, he'd be good. Yes, that'd be fine. But I have, since I have, I've never, I've never been on first class ever my entire life. I have uh, nothing but hatred for flying. What about trains? I've been on trains a lot. Probably more than most people in their life. I used to commute every day on a train for an hour and a half. Bo three hours a day, actually. Yeah. That looks like a Modron. Bart from Citadel. Frank, unforgivable taboo. Stop the call digging into our minds. You took a train from Seattle to DC, one of the best trips of your life. I've been on a passenger train uh, a couple of times to go to like DC from New Jersey. All right, I have a feeling as soon as we go into the spotlight, this thing freaks out. There's many of them. That thing definitely shot when I went into the spotlight. What happens if I shoot you? Oh, he closes his eye. Temporarily. Back at you, buddy. I want this so bad. Requires. 
anathema, 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 anathema. Key. We don't have the key for this. I like that they're, they're pretty mellow about the whole you shot me in the eye thing. Overall, they're pretty mellow about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's actually a treasure above me here. Where is that? Look, it's on a little island above. Ah, oh, it's one of those bridge things. That's the ability we'll unlock later. Okay. We're doing pretty good on this run, gang. Um, here. Back to the house. When you die, does everything respawn? The whole planet shifts, changes. Everything's changed. All the monsters come back, but it's not this. It's not the same pattern of monsters. It's not the same ways to go. Yeah. 